Brand new video today here. We got the NBA Finals game one here Thursday, June 1st. Two player props here from this game. Before I get started, there's a link in the description below. You can sign up for price picks there or you can use promo code TUFF. 100% deposit match by using that link or the promo code. Discord link is in the description of this video. We have the main server, which is completely free. We do also have the Patreon link as well, where I do post all the plays here that I'm making on price picks for each given sport that I do play. I also need to mention I'm not a gambling expert, and this is not financial advice. They're simply just plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully give you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. Again, no one's pressing submit on those parlays other than yourself. But let's get into it, you guys. NBA Finals Game 1 here. The spread for this game is a 9-point spread for Denver. Denver obviously at home. Miami coming into the elevation. Denver's been off for like 5. Denver's been off for like a week, I feel like. Maybe even more than a week. Um, so maybe the rust should help Miami a little bit in this game. 9-point spread. Honestly, a closer spread than I expected. Honestly, I was expecting, once Miami won, I was expecting the spread to be like 11 points. But a 9-point spread here. Um, so do keep in mind, this does have some slight, slight blowout risk here. We have the free Nikola Jokic uh, 0.5 points on prize picks as well. But I got two plays that I'm targeting from this game. Um, yeah, NBA Finals Game 1. We only got essentially at bare minimum four NBA games left for the regular season. And then we'll you know be just locked in on the WNBA and MLB uh, player props on this channel. But all I ask is please drop a like on this video. Um, yeah, did about an hour and a half of research this morning. So let's get right into it. The first play, we're going to go with Michael Porter Jr. And I like his over 23.5 PR right here against the Miami Heat. So right off the bat, um, MPJ has had... A very, very strong series against the Lakers. 27, 26, 30, and 26 PRA against the Lakers. He's playing extremely well. He's shooting the ball extremely well here. We take a look at Outlier. Again, there's a link at the top of the description of this video. You get a seven-day free trial with Outlier, you guys. Outlier, to me, in my opinion, the most useful sports betting tool. I use it every day. And the mobile app is absolutely elite, you guys. So really quickly, the odds. Michael Porter Jr. is on 125 on BetMGM, minus 127 on Caesars, and minus 135 on DraftKings to go over 23.5 PRA tonight. This season, right, here is the green, right? Look at the green for Michael Porter Jr. This is Michael Porter Jr.'s um, hit rate this season at home when he plays 29, at least 29 minutes per game at home. He's only missed this in one, two, three, four, five games at home this season when he plays 29 minutes. We take a look at his last five games, obviously, at home. Has hit the over on this. His last 10 games at home, he's played three of his last 10 games at home, essentially, I believe. Um, when he plays 29 plus minutes has hit this twice we just take away the minutes per game here for michael J porter jr over his last 20 um games at home here or his last 20 games when he does play at home right he's hit this in one two uh three five of what is this five of nine games here but these games against minnesota phoenix were tough matchups for him like offensively uh, but if we do again like i said increase this minutes line four of his last six games at home and then we take away this as well michael border jr in his last um 20 games in general home or away we can see here when he plays 30 plus minutes michael border jr has hit the over one two three four uh six seven eight nine ten of it ten of 13 games when he plays 30 plus minutes He's hit the over on this regardless, home or away. An elite, elite matchup here, right? We can see here on the season versus small forwards. Now, Michael Porter Jr. is a legit small forward in this offense. They got Jamal Murray as the point guard, KCP as the two, Aaron Gordon's the four, Jokic is the five. Like, you know, in some NBA lineups, you know, like the Celtics, for example, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, we don't know really who's the small forward, but in this offense for the Denver Nuggets, uh, Michael Porter Jr. is the epitome, absolute epitome here of a small forward. Miami on the season gave up the most points per game to the small forward position, the most assists to the small forward position, and the uh, third most three-pointers made to the small forward position, as well as the, uh, what is this, one, two, three, four, sixth most fantasy points to the small forward position that the Miami Heat did, in fact, give up or allow to that position. Um, his PRA game log in the playoffs, you can see here the hit rate, Super high, in my opinion. I mean, he's missed this one, two. I mean, if we take a look at just this is his last game. This is his game log, um, including the playoffs. Let's just do actually in playoffs, more specifically, just the playoffs um, alone here. We can see the hit rate for Michael Porter Jr. He's had a very strong playoffs, um, in my opinion. Or, dang, I got to do this by this season. That's why we do this in one take, you guys. I was like wondering why there's so many games played. Um, you can see here the hit rate for Michael Porter Jr. He's had at least 22 PRA in every all but four games um in this series and then these two misses down here against phoenix when he played 24 and 23 minutes um i'm not really going to count those i expect michael porter jr who has been seeing like i said 
um, 30 plus minutes in all four games versus the Lakers in that series. They're definitely going to need him in that matchup. Just bodes so, so well for Michael Porter Jr. We take a look at kind of who is going to be playing. I mean, Miami Heat are going to roll out a pretty small lineup with uh, Caleb Martin playing the four here. Um, if we just take a look here at this depth chart for Miami. Um, Caleb Martin's going to be playing the four. He's like 6'5". Michael Porter Jr. is 6'10". Jimmy Butler is about 6'6". Max Struess is about 6'4". And those backups, right, they just don't have the size to match up for Michael Porter Jr. So he's going to, I feel like, going to have three-point opportunities where he's shooting the ball over, like, Gabe Bitsit, um, and even maybe Duncan Robinson. I don't know if Tyler Hero is playing, but the size differential for Michael Porter Jr. and the entire Nuggets team is very, very high. We take a look at Michael Porter Jr.'s PRA game log this season when he plays 29-plus minutes at home. Again, like I said, the hit rate extremely high. He's only missed this in five games when he plays 29-plus minutes at home this season. Um, again, another one, Michael Porter Jr. game log versus Miami this season. Um, at Miami, he had 23, 17, and 6 in 33 minutes, and then he had uh, 19 PRA against Miami in 25 minutes. Only 25 minutes here. I think we can strongly expect Michael Porter Jr. to play at least 30-plus minutes tonight, which uh, should, I mean, 19 in only 25 minutes. Really, really bodes well for Mark Porter Jr. in this matchup. And then the Wings, uh, Wings PRA game log this season versus Miami, just in the playoffs, you guys. Like, we saw R.J. Barrett have PRA games of 42, 35, 31, and 30. We saw Josh Hart have a PRA game of 34. We saw Chris Middleton have a PRA game of 45. Um, obviously, the Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum had great games. Uh, Derek White down here, 28. Josh Hart here, 22 PRA. Derek White, 21, 21. Um, Josh Hart had another game of 19 here, but I mean, just look at some of these games for wings. I mean, Jason Tatum had 47, 4, 51, and 55. Um, Chris Middleton, like I said, 45. Jalen Brown had games of 39, 36, 32, um, 25, 25, I and mean, he didn't play that well here. But I mean, just the floor here for Michael Porter Jr. I mean, if we're just talking about you know just the floor, right? We need 24 PRA from him. Um, this is for example, like a, an 11, 10 and four game would clear the over on this. A 15, five and two is 22 PRA. Um, just on the season, let's go to here. A 24 PRA game for Michael Porter Jr. 15 and nine and no assists in 30 minutes against San Antonio. Like the, this just seems too low, um, for a guy in, with the most elite, uh, most elite matchup possible here. Right. And then Michael Porter Jr. in the playoffs is averaging through 15 games, um, 11 rebounding chances converting eight rebounds per game, as well as some assists, three potential assists per game, one and a half assists per game. Um, I like Michael Porter Jr. tonight at 23 and a half PRA. Great odds for us as well, minus 135 on DraftKings. I think this maybe has a chance to bump up to 24 flat by the time tip-off. So this is the first play, MPJ over 23 and a half PRA. The second one here is a weird one. It's definitely a weird one, but I think there's value in it. It's minutes played in the first half, right? NBA first half minutes played. It's Kyle Lowry. Over 8.75 minutes played. Now, this was at 8.5. It bumped to 8.75. So, we know people were smashing over 8.5 here. Let's just take a look at a few things and why I like this play. So, Kyle Lowry, his first half game lock in the playoffs this season. Right? He's hit the over on this in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of 18 playoff games. And right, and the three miss three misses came with eight minutes total. So there is a chance maybe he hit the eight point seven five because you know how the minutes are broken down. But we take one away at Milwaukee when he only when he had three personal fouls in that first half. So let's take away one. He's only missed this in three games here, twice with eight, once with seven against Boston at Boston in that game too, which was super weird. But you can see the hit rate. He hit this in every game. This is my thinking here. He hit this in every game versus the Knicks, 15, 15, 10, 11, 14, and 15. Now the difference here versus the Knicks is that Jalen Brunson is on the Knicks, right? So a ball dominant scoring point guard. Now we saw this similarly, right? Jamal Murray is a scoring ball dominant point guard for the Denver Nuggets. So I'm expecting Gabe Vincent to be maybe slightly in a little bit of foul trouble, but regardless, I'm sure um, Gabe Vincent, um, Eric Spolstra, sorry, wants Kyle Lowry on the floor a little bit more than normal. I mean, against Boston, Boston's throwing out weird guard lineups, so the mismatches and things like that don't really make sense sometimes for Kyle Lowry. But you can see here, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 14 minutes, 15 minutes against the Knicks. Jalen Brunson, very similar offensive player in that row, in that offense to Jamal Murray. Um, he faced, I mean, he faced Denver once already this season at Denver. Played 17 minutes in the first half. That was back when he was a starter, so a little bit different there. But Kyle Lowry this season in the playoffs, right in the playoffs. He's averaging 11.5 minutes per game in the first half. When you move that to at home, he's averaging 11.8 minutes per game in the first half on the road, sorry, this season in the playoffs. We take a look here. Gabe Vincent, right? 
Gabe Vincent versus the Knicks. He had four games versus the Knicks where he had two plus fouls in the first half, including one game where he had three personal fouls. We saw campaign. He had three, uh, two. He's a, sorry. He had uh, two games in the playoffs where he had three personal fouls against the Denver Nuggets and Jamal Murray. We saw the Lakers. We saw Dennis Schroeder have a game where he was in foul trouble, along with D'Angelo Russell had two fouls here. Dennis Schroeder had two fouls here. Same with Mike Conley was in a little bit of foul trouble in that series versus the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first half. Uh, A game with two fouls here in the first half, and then along with Jordan McLaughlin had two fouls here in the first half. But like I said, for example... That Kyle Schroeder, uh, Dennis Schroeder and D'Angelo Russell, right? They hit the over in every single game in that matchup versus Denver as far as just the minutes per game for, for both point guards here. They smashed the over. Campaign, if we go to minute or we go to date, sorry. Campaign played 19, 14, 13, 15. Chris Paul played 18 while Cam played 6. And then Chris Paul played 16 here. Um, Gabe Vincent, like I said, in the first half has been playing decent minutes. But in that series against... In that series versus the Knicks, like I said, his minutes were a little bit less limited. I mean, 16, he saw 17, 20, 20, 18. So, again, my thinking here, Kyle Lowry, the hit rate is extremely high. He's hit this in almost every single playoff game, if you consider it. I mean, on the road here, right? He's only missed in one playoff game on the road versus Boston in that game, too. Um, He played 17 minutes in the first half against Denver earlier this season. He is averaging 11.5 minutes in the playoffs in the first half, 11.8 minutes per game in the first half on the road. Hopefully Gabe Vincent can get in that some foul trouble against Jamal Murray. These are the two plays here I think have value. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these two plays. Drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.